now we're going to talk about the liver, and the liver is the yin organ, and you know, the liver is responsible for quite a few things, uh, one of them being the, uh, the storage and control of, of blood. The, the liver stores the blood, but it is the job of the gallbladder to judge when to release the blood. Uh, the, which brings up another point is that, we'll go over in a minute, is that the liver has a great effect upon menstruation. Um, the liver also has a profound effect on emotion it, and is known as the supreme controller of all the emotions, uh, especially anger. So, uh, anger is stored in the liver and is a wood element. So if you have a patient who has uh, a lot of anger, you know, that can't be controlled, uh, treatment of the liver will help. And that also explains why uh, different alcohols have a different yin or yang property to them. Like you have uh, straight tequila, you have somebody drink straight tequila as a very yang type of alcohol. And when it hits the liver, it has a very yang type of, of principle to it. And so there's a lot of fire created. And so this creates fire in the liver and in creating fire in the liver, they get very aggressive, very angry, uh, very edgy, uh, if, uh, which is opposed to somebody drinks beer, which has a very yin constitution to it. You know? and so you wind up with a lot of people who have that, oh, I love you, man, you know, type of mentality, and they're very mellow, and, and they usually don't bother anybody. Now that's just a general overall of of how uh, different yin or yang properties uh, in excess can uh, affect the uh, psycho-emotional aspect of the body. The, uh, the liver, however, uh, not only uh, controls or not only stores the blood, but it uh, circulates, helps circulate the blood through the body. Energetically, the liver opens up into the eyes and uh, it manifests in the fingernails and in the toenails. And so that's a, one of the Chinese medical diagnosis ways of uh, diagnosing the liver is not only looking at the eyes, but checking the fingernails and toenails. Uh, it's blatantly obvious what's wrong with the liver uh, just by looking at the fingernails or toenails, simply because whatever's going on on the fingernails and toenails, pretty much what's going on with the liver too. You see like dryness and cracks, well there's dryness and, and heat going on in the liver whatever the case may be. So energetically, eyes and fingernails, uh, not only that, but uh, of course with the, the tendons and connective tissue ligaments as well. Which brings up another point, is that the liver also controls the muscles and is the source of the body's physical strength, or li, spelled L-I, uh, for uh, Chinese medical terminology. Uh, the, the, the liver actually uh, controls the physical strength of the body. Strong liver, strong physical strength. Uh, again, different than other types of strength. You know, physical strength, the ability to lift or move. Mental aspects of the liver. The liver is responsible for uh, creativity and planning. Uh, it's also responsible for sudden insights or sudden uh, thoughts, you know, suddenly come up with a solution to a problem. Uh, that's, that comes from the liver. That type of energy is uh, created and governed by that organ. The emotional aspects of the liver, on the positive side, you have kindness, malevolence, uh, compassion, these types of feelings, and then on the negative side, you have anger, rage, irritability, uh, that, that type of thing. Which also brings up another point, and that is uh, uh, menstruation. When women menstruate, in Chinese medicine, the uterus and the liver are connected energetically. And so, the uterus is always doing something, and around that time of the month, the uterus constantly is contracting, and that's where you get these cramping and movement of muscle, and so it creates heat, and this heat created backs up into the liver, and as the heat backs up into the liver, it creates 
uh, uh, irritability, you know, uh, anger, you know, resentment, lots of different types of, uh, you know, emotional problems along those lines because it becomes too yang. There's too much heat being created. And uh, that's, uh, that's very easily eliminated by massaging uh, liver three and, and two in that order uh, on the foot, uh, just massage counterclockwise and all that anger and everything will just drain right out of your body. Do that for about 30 seconds on both, both feet. Now we're going to talk about the water elements. The water elements are bladder, which is yang, and kidneys, which are yin. Now the bladder's function is basically the storage controller of water. Uh, fluids separated by the small intestine come down to the bladder. The bladder stores these fluids until such time as the qi transformation can occur. And basically what happens is qi transformation is heat from the triple heater uh, and the kidney come to the bladder and kind of warm it, kind of percolates. And so the steam, so to speak, that rises up is your your jing, your power. And this jing uh, that is now created, this, this qi or essence, uh, helps to uh, control the sphincter for the bladder. And that causes a release, which is what we call urination. And so as the, the dirty part of the fluid is released in the urine, uh, that's the whole function of the bladder. Some of the mental aspects and emotional aspects of the bladder are that uh, habitual fear, uh, long-standing holding of grudges. Uh, you also see uh, jealousy and suspicion uh, that could run rampant for just no apparent reason. You know, why, why would they be have these feelings? And uh, it just comes down to they have an imbalance then they can't help it. They constantly are suspicious. They constantly uh, are jealous of somebody else. And uh, you may see a lot of these problems in women and that's because uh, women's body has a couple more functions uh, that drain energy from the kidney and bladder and that's due to the fact of menstruation and pregnancy and so uh, during pregnancy you see these uh, things may run rampant uh, because of energetic disturbances uh, created by uh, you know, being pregnant 